The kitchen is the heart and soul of almost any home, and it's imperative that it shows well. We eat, entertain, and certainly cook in this room, maybe even three times a day. So just like the outside, the first thing we need to do is declutter. Believe it or not, you'll probably want to start with your cabinets. Not only do your cabinets need to appear roomy and organized, but you'll also need to be able to put your small appliances that normally sit out on your counter down here and out of sight. So get a small box and let's start packing. Clear out any appliances you won't use and pack them away. That way you'll have room for ones you will use but need to keep out of sight. Everything needs to be removed from the kitchen so you'll be able to clean, repair, and add items back in to showcase your kitchen. The glass and dish packs that go into the medium box are perfect for not only protecting your fragile wear on moving day, but this is a great place to put collectibles, knickknacks, and any breakables during the decluttering process. You probably have an area in your kitchen where you have your bills and things. This needs to not only be tidied, but left completely empty. And the refrigerator is a clutter magnet, literally, and we want to get all that cleared off. Now that we've cleared everything out, the next step is critical. Deep clean and repair. Scrub and scrub until you can't scrub anymore. Tile and grout. Exhaust fans, filters and hoods. The sink needs to be completely clean so it has that new look and smell again. And remember to always put dishes in the dishwasher and run every day. If you have a window ledge and blinds, dust and clean and empty the trash every day. Appliances should be cleaned inside and out, and if you can't get those burner pans cleaned, replace them. Also, no leaky faucets or broken outlet covers. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now that we've cleared it out and cleaned it up, let's really make it pop. Let's design to sell. Remember, we're not trying to go for any particular style. We need this to have the model home look. Make it appeal to as many people as possible. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this wallpaper and paint it a neutral color. If you have borders, wallpaper, or just really out of the ordinary paint on your walls, you should seriously consider replacing that with a fresh neutral coat of paint. And that's your take it to the bank tip number two. Painting gives you the most bang for your buck. Paint is inexpensive and one of the best ways to change your room's appearance. And remember, be careful. Don't get the paint on the trim or ceiling or anywhere else it doesn't belong. With a little caution and some painting tape, you can do wonders to your rooms. And if you don't want to paint, hire it out. Well, now that we whipped that out, we're going to add back in some of the accents. Remember, less is more. Fresh flowers are always a nice touch. What a great transformation! It's designed to sell, and I need a snack. 